Okay, to do the stuff in this next menu, we do need a couple pictures, so let's go pull in a couple pictures to work with just out of the stock images area. Um, let's see. That looks like a nice shot to do. And let's pull in a couple more. Insert pictures, stock images. Um, let's mess with this one. And let's mess with one more. Insert pictures, stock images. I say this repeating thing for you guys to hear it just so we can continue to drill in your head what some of these things are like. Okay. First image, what we're going to do, we are up here in the picture format menu, which comes up anytime you select an image, picture format menu comes up. That's where we did the remove background stuff, where we'll do all the next things, next couple of videos. So corrections, say you want to go a little artistic on this. You could tighten it. You could take a darker brightness contrast. You see all these different options. These are all in here that you can change stuff or you can just go manually into stuff yourself and you make it a little bit sharper make it a little bit brighter make the contrast a little bit lower hey you got some artistic style there look at that okay so that's the very basic stuff in the picture corrections area the next one we're going to go to is in color and that's all in this menu here or we can get to it inside picture color over here on the right hand side once we've already selected it so let's go back to picture corrections to reset that back to original and we'll just mess with picture color color saturation now that's an interesting one for instance when you see something strong you know strong reds so take it back to normal reset see that's a normal shot if you want to show off the color and make it pop a little bit extra that's a little excessive on there so that's the color saturation area color tone is a whole nother area if you just want some styles done with it, you can mess with that. There's also the whole recolor area that you can go into all just tans. You can go into blues. You can go into all kinds of different stuff with that. And there's some cool stuff to do in there. I don't mess with it too much. Uh, next area is transparency. If you are wanting it to kind of fade into the background and have other text go across it, you can mess with it there. And of course, the last thing is cropping, which you can um, crop the image a little bit smaller if you choose to. So the way I prefer to do that is going right click and then crop, and then I can pull the image down and make it just of the two of them, barely show any of the beach if I wanted to. Okay, we'll go on to messing with the second picture of this lady here. Uh, double click, now to get you up in that menu. Artistic effects. See what I'm dealing with here? It's got some different styles. Make it look like it's a painting. Make it look like it's being seen through a haze. You can mess all those things. And there's the transparency menu that we talked about earlier. It showed up in that other place um, over this right-hand side for my picture area. Compress pictures. Compress basically gets a size factor. If you would need to get your files down a little bit smaller, um, I don't mess with this, this one at all because file sizes are not a very big deal uh, with most of the stuff that I'm working with unless you get into a, a higher end thing. So I wouldn't mess with this compressed pictures area at all. Change picture is just swapping out the image for something else, totally separate to something else. Um, and reset picture takes you back to where you were. So we're still in this, in this area. We'll show you some more of the other tricks next time. But really, if I go, let's just go back to the color correction. Say I want to soften it a little bit. Look at some of these options here. Nah, I don't like any of those. That one pops out a little bit better. And remember, you can always do that remove background thing. Bam, make her disappear. Remember the quick review on remove background. See? Cool. So there's some very basic stuff that you do inside this whole adjust menu that we're going through. We'll go into picture styles, uh, some of the arrangement stuff and cropping and things a little bit more in our next video.